Hello and welcome back fellow path integrators today with a double integral for a change and I would like to show you the incredible solution that this integral has and in order to find this solution we have to use a little trick we have to use the geometric series and therefore we take a look at the integrand because the integrand somehow looks like the value that a geometric series converges to when you remember the geometric series is the sum from n equals 0 to infinity over r to the power of n and this converges to 1 divided by 1 minus r in case that the absolute value of r is smaller than 1. So in case of our integral this is uh, definitely the case because our integral is for x and y in both cases from 0 to 1. So we can say that the integrand itself 1 divided by 1 minus xy is like the sum over all n being greater or equal than 0 of x, y in brackets to the power of n. So let's plug that in into the integral. Write it down first. We have the limits from 0 to 1, 0 to 1, and then 1 divided by 1 minus x, y, dx, dy. Now we plug in the sum, the limits of the integral stay the same, so we have the sum n being greater or equal than 0, x, y to the power of n, dx, dy. So now we can extract the sum out of the integral, out of the integral, so this gives us the sum outside of the integral and then the integral from 0 to 1 over dx, x, to the power of n and the integral from 0 to 1 dy y to the power of n. So let's solve those integrands, those integrals. So we have the sum n being greater or equal than 0. First integral is x to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 evaluated at the limits 1 and 0 and we multiply the whole thing times y to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 evaluated at the limits 1 and 0. So this in the end gives us the sum from all n being greater or equal than 0 and then we plug in 1 and 0 into the two functions dependent on x and y and then we get like 1 divided by n plus 1 times 1 divided by n plus 1 and this is simply 1 divided by n plus 1 squared and if we shift the index of our sum 1 forward so it starts at 1 and not at 0 we will get the sum over all inverse squares and this is known as the zeta function of 2 and the solution of this has been found by Euler in the 18th century and is pi squared over 6. So I hope you liked the way we solved this integral and the connection it had to the zeta function and therefore also a little bit to the world of prime numbers. Um, so if you like what you saw, leave a like, maybe subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments what else you would like to see. Bye.